In Google Analytics, you can see how people came to your website by looking at acquisition here over on the left, and then channels. When you look here, you will see a default channel grouping, and that below shows direct, referral, organic, and social. You can also look by source medium and look at source and medium separately. So source is the origin of the traffic. Kind of think of that as the top level site, such as Google or Blogger or Facebook. The medium is connected to the origin. So in the example of Facebook as a source, a medium could be organic Facebook traffic or it could be paid Facebook traffic. So what you want to look at when you're in here viewing your sources, you want to see how people came to you. You know, you can see Facebook, Blogger, Google, a couple different things. And this is a book blogger site, which is why you'll see some of the sources on here that you have. So you want to see how they, how they find you, first of all, looking at this data here. But then you also want to see if the behavior changes based on how they find you. So you can see here the bounce rate overall, you know, 66%. And here, let's see, we've got a couple where just a couple individual visits where the bounce rate is 100%, meaning people came to the site and they left right away. Uh, over here, a blogger referral, you can see the bounce rate was 25% here on line four, which obviously 25% is a little bit of a better bounce rate. And then the pages per session will tell you the engagement. So, you know, these, the, these visitors visited just over two pages whereas some of these visitors, you know, exited right away. They only visited the page that they landed on. So why this is important is you first, you want to see how people are even finding you. So here, let's say I was doing a lot of marketing on Facebook for this site. This is not very good news, you know, to only have one. So I could see that if Facebook were a marketing channel, that this would be a little bit of a problem that I really wasn't able to drive traffic through it. And then you also want to see if the behavior changes based on the source. So sometimes people come in, they'll look at their source and medium or they'll look at behavior and it's important to look at those things together. So does the behavior change based on the source? And then the other thing to look for is see if there's any surprises. You might have some fans out there that are talking about you, your products, your brand that you weren't aware of. So when you go into your account, if you see some of those, you can say thank you. You can say, well, you know, we have a new product line. I'd love it if you could promote it. So that's kind of the, the point of getting in, you know, starting to slice and dice. So again, come into acquisition, look at channels. You can look at the source medium, source only, medium only, and then by each source and medium, look at the behavior and see how you've been doing with the marketing for your website.